You guys probably remember when I last left you, I was gonna go have a go at some fly fishing. Well, the time has come. Today, today is that day. Finally, finally gonna attempt to try out some fly fishing. I got this, I got this gear quite a while ago now. And well, it hasn't been that long, it's been a few weeks. But one thing I have come to terms with and I am now starting to realize and accept um, I'm probably like 95, 99% sure I'm not gonna catch a fish. I've never even casted a fly rod. So this morning I had to leave the camping area and go back into town because I didn't have any service on my phone. And I had to rewatch some videos on how to cast, how to rig up your fly line and all of that. So chances are it's not looking great for me, but the important thing is I'm taking the first step and I'm finally gonna use this gear. And honestly, part of the reason why I haven't used it is just because I've been pretty busy doing other stuff. But also a big part of it is, I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but getting into fly fishing has always just been kind of intimidating to me. Like learning how to cast, all of the different gear you have to get. Like there's just a lot of different parts. So that's, you know, it's kind of prevented me from just going out there and trying it out. But today, today that all changes. Today, I'm gonna be taking out this rod and we're gonna go try. Well, first we're actually gonna go practice casting because I, like I said, I've never casted a fly rod before. And then maybe later, maybe later we'll attach a fly and go try to get ourselves a fish. We'll see what happens. Now, I'm not even gonna put on waders or anything because A, I don't have them, and B, for now, I'm just gonna be practicing casting. So there's no point in wading out into the river. Lots of people launching their boats out of this campground. There's like a cool little boat ramp over there. I think a lot of people are fishing on the Deschutes River out of their boats. So the setup that I got is actually, it's a four piece collapsible fishing rod and an Akuma reel. It's a four and five weight rod. I think eight, eight foot six, eight foot six inches. And I actually got it used from my buddy's old manager who is a pretty avid fly fisherman. So I didn't have to spend that much, fortunately. And this is gonna be my first time rigging it up. river moving this fast isn't the most ideal spot to fly fish, but I'm just practicing my casting right now, so I don't think it really matters.
I just met this guy named Randy. He came floating by on his little pontoon boat. Got to chatting. He gave me, you know, the basics of fly fishing. He really gave me a lot of insider knowledge, which is extremely helpful. But we've literally been talking for the last, like, two hours. So it's getting later in the day now. And I got somewhat of the casting down. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to throw a fly on, hike a little bit up the river, wade in, and see if we can get us a fish. I'm hopeful now. Well, the GoPro memory card is officially broken. It actually like chipped or cracked in half somehow. I have no idea how. So that means I don't get to get cool GoPro footage while fishing, which is literally the reason I got the GoPro, but that's okay. Um, there will be more fishing videos in the future. Today, I guess we'll just have to rely on the tripod. I have no idea what fly this is. I just got it at the shop randomly. This is one of the ones that they recommended. Um, but there it is, ready to go. After talking to Randy for a while, I'm a little bit more confident. I'd say before, before I had like 1% chance of catching a fish. Now I feel like I, maybe like 15%. Still not that, not that good of odds, but we'll give it an honest shot. And then next time I'll have a much better idea of what to anticipate. I think it's funny that I'm out walking on this trail, wearing shorts, sandals, my little sling looking like a complete clown and I'm passing by people with like the heavy duty waders, fancy boots, a million different things clipped to their chest, super nice looking gear. <laughs> God, I feel like a, I feel like a clown, but I guess I am a clown when it comes to fly fishing because I don't know anything. Huh, this looks like a good spot. Let's go down here. Probably not the best spot because of all the bushes around here. I'm gonna try to find somewhere a little bit more clear. Honestly, the water isn't even that cold. I think a lot of these guys just wanna feel cool wearing their waders.
just spent the last like hour and a half continuing to try to fish that spot. I guess it was more like a casting practice because I don't know how close I ever was to getting a fish. It's so frustrating. You literally see like all these fish feeding right next to you, coming to the surface and you're like trying to cast over there, but they're not biting. I don't know if I had the right fly. Also, I got caught and tangled in stuff at least like 12 times during that hour and a half. So that was kind of a nightmare, but eh, oh well. I'm just glad that I got out here, gave it a shot and it's only uphill from here, you know. Maybe, maybe I'll probably end up hiring like a guide or something to show me like the actual ropes because I feel like it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to uh, to just learn on your own. It really seems to be beneficial to have like an expert who knows what they're doing. Maybe, maybe one of you guys out there, if you're a expert fly fisherman and you would like to spend a day on the river showing me a thing or two, let me know. You guys will see me catch a fish on this channel one day, I promise. I've caught many fish in my life. I've caught like, well, not that many, but at least probably like 50 fish all in the ocean. So maybe, maybe when I'm back down in Southern California, I'll do a video of me fishing off the jetty so you guys can see, I can, I can catch a fish. It's just this, all of these unknown fishing styles that I've never tried that I obviously suck at because I have no experience, but. It's a learning curve and we'll get there one day. Ugh. Last beer. That's a shame. Honestly, I really need it after that super hot sunny day in the sun. Sunny day in the sun, that makes sense. my last video this is my leftover pad thai and I wrapped it in a burrito before you say I'm crazy I've seen this on the menu and many other places so bear with me I've never had it it's a first for both of us cheers Honestly, everything tastes better in a tortilla wrap, let's be real now.
you all in the morning. Good night. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Fly fishing was a failure, yes, but it was also a success because I finally got out there and gave it a shot and it was really fun. I really, really enjoyed it. So I definitely see myself getting more and more into fly fishing. I'm gonna continue to try to practice and learn and do the best that I can to catch a fish on this channel because I know I always give these motivational speeches of why it's okay to not catch a fish, but let's be real, guys. We all wanna catch a freaking fish, come on. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you, like always, for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing. Go out there and go on some adventures of your own. Live life, beat the status quo. Y'all know the drill. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video.